Foreign ministers of Egypt and Greece held talks in Cairo on Sunday, following a recent oil and gas exploration deal signed between Turkey and the Libyan government of national unity. Greek Foreign Minister Nikos Dendias described the deal as a threat to regional stability. We both agree that our common strategic objective is a stable, prosperous and peaceful Libya and a stable Eastern Mediterranean. Greece supports the effort undertaken that will pave the way for the holding of elections in Libya, parliamentary elections, presidential elections. Egyptian Foreign Minister Sameh Shaukri said that the outgoing unity government in Tripoli doesn't have the authority to conclude any international agreements or memoranda of understanding. He added that the Libyan government of national unity came through an UN-approved roadmap by the Libyan Political Dialogue Forum with a specific mission and term to hold the Libyan presidential and parliamentary elections on December 24, 2021, which it failed to do. I stress that the UN and its secretary-general have to take clear action against the illegitimacy of the outgoing Libyan government. Libya has been divided into two rival administrations since March, when the eastern-based House of Representatives, or the Parliament, appointed Fathi Bashaga as Prime Minister, while Tripoli-based Prime Minister Abdul Hamd Dibaiba refused to step down, saying he would only hand over office to an elected government. Dibaiba's administration signed with Turkey earlier this month a Memorandum of Understanding that allows Turkey to explore oil and gas fields in some areas of the eastern Mediterranean, over which Greece claims to have sovereignty. Libya has been suffering political instability and chaos ever since the fall of the late leader Muammar Gaddafi's regime in 2011.